welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm megs i usually read i'm starting this vlog today today is friday december 15th so middle of the month i haven't been reading a lot i truly haven't as you've seen in my last vlog i literally read like 10 pages and i didn't do in any reading and i'm really sad about it i don't that's not what i want to do i definitely want to read more i will not reach my reading goal for 2023 not even close to it which makes me kind of sad i don't really hold myself up to it but i wish i could achieve that because i feel like it's an achievable number of books and i didn't so yeah i also think it's probably because i got back on instagram which I don't use like as a platform to create content like I only spend time there waste time there so I'll probably uninstall it <laughs> because it's just not good for me it doesn't make me feel amazing although I do really like to consume other type of content that it's not YouTube videos but you can't have everything i guess in if i want to read and if i want to watch films and if i want to actually consume good worthwhile content i can't be spending more than an hour on instagram every day that's just it's not even about productivity it's about choosing how i'm gonna spend my time and that's not how i want to spend my time i thought i'd film a little vlog this weekend i don't have like a lot of time because i do have plans saturday and sunday but hopefully we'll make some progress on never let me go by kazuo ishiguro and i'll talk about it when i've read a bit more and yeah i'm excited about it i'm excited to get back into reading because the past two weeks i haven't read barely at all and I miss it, and I love it, it's my favorite hobby, and I just, yeah, want to get back into it. So that's the plan tomorrow. Today is one of my friend's birthday, and tomorrow we're having brunch with her and some other of her friends, so yeah, that's also exciting. And then on Sunday, I'm seeing some of their friends that I haven't seen in more than a month and that's actually unusual we try and see each other at least once a month but they don't work out and I miss them I want to spend time with them and yeah let's see what we do this weekend okay I'm gonna go now I'll see you tomorrow Saturday now we're getting ready to go to brunch. It's like 9.30. And my friend will be there at 10.30. So that's what we're gonna do. Just doing a little bit of makeup so I can look decent. We are going to Zenith brunch. Zenith brunch. It should take me between like 30 to 40 minutes to get there. Hello, hello.
it's later now i did went to brunch for my friend's birthday it was really good it was on zenith brunch and cocktails zenith i don't know you can get there very easily i really liked it actually they had really good options in my opinion and it was really good they didn't have like a brunch menu which that's weird to me if you're specialized in brunch why don't you have like a brunch menu with like three or four options of like stuff you can get like it it messes me up that i have to ask for things separately and then the price is just so high like i don't know i feel like every place that says they have brunch they should have a brunch menu but anyways, <laughs> moving on. The brunch was really good. I got a veggie bagel and then I shared some pancakes with one of my friends and they were both really good. I got a golden latte, which had like turmeric and ginger and that was good. And yeah, the brunch was really good. We then walked around Wonderland, which is like a Christmas, uh, attraction in Marques Pombal in Lisbon during like the festive season I haven't been there during the night like I've been there twice during the day this year but I haven't gone at night so hopefully this week I'll go we'll see mm -hmm. um, I have been reading Never Let Me Go by House of Girl. like I said I did read a little bit and I just I've read more than 70 pages and we're just now I feel like getting into it and I I knew it was going to be kind of slow but I also thought it was going to be faster because it's not even 300 pages but yeah we're following Kathy and she's telling us the story like she's a career now which we don't really know what it means and she's showing us or and she is telling us like memories from her childhood at Hailsham I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but we're gonna pretend it is, which was like a boarding school where she and two of their friends, Ruth and Tommy, went to. And like, it was not like an option. They grew up there, they don't remember anything else, they don't know the outside world, and they just are there. And yeah, so far we've been with her memories like from a very early age and now she's getting to the memories of the last years of their high school experience where like they grow up and they know more about what they're doing there what they were raised for i i don't want to go into spoilers but to be honest i don't really have anything to spoil at this point i don't I got to the part that I was like n knowing that was gonna happen because I had a vague notion that this is what the people were raised for but I still I don't have any clarity as to the why or neither do they and that's why we don't know I feel like we are being kept in the dark the same way the children at Ilshim were yeah I think that's on purpose and I'm not mad about it. But, but I'm also going to take back what I said in my last vlog about this being compelling. Because after two chapters, it's not really that compelling because it keeps on the same pace. And it doesn't really reveal a lot of things. Also, I'm sorry about the noise. There's a lot of noise coming from above me. And I don't know why. It's not really usual. But... Yeah, that is the update on the book. I do want to finish it in this vlog, but I said that in the last vlog and I read like 10 pages, so let's not put that out there. <laughs> it's the next day 
It's Sunday, the 17th of December. I'm about to leave the house right now to meet up with other friends that I miss so much. And yeah, I don't really have any reading updates because I didn't do any reading today. I did do a little bit of reading yesterday, but like I don't have any updates like comparing to what I've talked about it already. And yeah, we'll see. I'm actually losing hope and most likely will not be finishing Never Like Me Going this vlog, but that's okay. That is okay. Not everybody reads a hundred books a year and that's fine. Okay. I didn't even read half of that, by the way. Like I, my goal was 50, but I'm actually at 39 at the moment. So just keeping things real. Cause I love to see people on the internet who love to read, but actually don't read a hundred books or 200 books. Like that is so many books. My goal will always be to read 52 books a year. It's a book a week and that sounds like the perfect amount. Never more than that. Like, I just, I don't think it's feasible for me, but I actually have to leave. I don't know why I decided to have this rent right now because I'm leaving. <laughs> Literally just wanted to be comfy today. Let's go. It's Monday now, I'm on my lunch break, just made a little tea after lunch and I've been reading a little bit. I've been trying to do that when I work from home to just read a little bit during my lunch break and I enjoy that, it breaks up my day and it's a time where I'm not at my desk. So yeah, I however am not loving Never Let Me Go, I'm now in part two of the book which I hadn't known like it was divided into parts, but it is. And I'm now in part two where she's remembering the time she and her friends, which friends, I thought this was a tight friend group trio situation. Like it's not. I, from her memories and the way she's recalling and retelling them, I wouldn't consider them friends. I would consider them like acquaintances. It's just the way they talk to each other in their interactions like that's not really friendship at least not to me <laughs> we're now like they left Ilsham like I'm not connected I'm not connected to her to this story to this friendship that is not a friendship I just I don't feel anything I'm reading this and I don't feel anything and also I find the concept and I want to know more in what they were raised for which we kind of know but not really because like we haven't been told but like we know ish uh and I find that interesting but it's not being explored so because we're not there yet I'm just not loving it which is a surprise to me because so many people love it like, don't people cry? Why are you crying, girl? <laughs> Anyways, I'm like halfway through and I just don't see it. I just don't see it. But we'll see. My mind could be changed. Like, yeah. I'm going to close out the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed. And thank you so much for spending your time with me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!